Hello guys and welcome to another episode of and I am proud to announce Jewish Mamluks. Well, the title says Greece, but uh, that's what we're working on right now. Uh, my original plan of feeding all my land to Funj has sadly failed as Funj is kind of going to get annexed and wait, hold on. Funj already exists down here. Well, that kind of makes my plan a little bit less practical, but eh, it still would have worked out. Wait, hold on, he's Sunni? Oh. Okay, well I guess my quote-unquote genius plan wasn't as genius afterwards. Well, then it doesn't matter actually, then I might as well do the Ottomans. My plan is as follows, I'm gonna basically swoop in, occupy the Ottomans, and I'm gonna force feed them all my African land. Well, except for the capital, of course. And um, hopefully we're just gonna see that land revolt straight back to us, because he should be gaining a lot of aggressive expansion and... Um, overextension from doing that, so um, I, I, at least this trick has worked in uh, tests, so hopefully it works now as well. Uh, we have of course currently dealt with a lot of rebels and as a result we have gone into debt, but um, we should be able to crawl back out. Now, we're paying a lot for fort maintenance though, fike, zero which are currently mothballed, that's why. Shit's gotta, shit's gotta be mothballed bro, yes. Mothball everything. I should lower that a bit. Oh yes, that pretty much puts it in half. Paying a lot for interest as well, but um, yeah. Oh wait, we're paying for mercenaries. Are there mercenaries hiding out in my armies? Well, we'll find them at some point, but I can't really see where they're hiding now. Oh no, here they are. I, f I found you. Go away. Uh, so yeah, how many troops do we have now? I feel like, yeah, wow! Where, do we, where on earth did we get that many troops from? I honestly don't know. <laughs> okay, well then I can understand why we're not making as much money anymore. I don't really want to disband my army, I don't know. I just don't know where I got it from. I guess I got some from the Byzantines, but... Maybe I accidentally recruited some army when I intended to recruit mercenaries? Don't know. Just don't know. Yeah, Browns like core and how come I cannot do it? Is it the one that is currently sieged by rebels? Oh fuck off. I thought we were done with this. Guess not. Maybe we're gonna have another round of joy in rebels. Oh yes. I don't want to spend any more military points on this stuff. Uh, well, we can't really spend it on technology, I guess. But is there something useful that we can spend it on? Yeah, we can grab an idea. Uh, and the next one should definitely be a military one. But I am a bit unsure though exactly what I would want that to be. Wow, 15% more all of armies? That is pretty strong. Um, of course quantity is the standard one. 50% last land force limit and recovery speed for manpower, national manpower modifier. It is quite the uh, idea group. Your armies are shit, but you can have a lot of them. Of course, that's gonna cost a lot, so I'm thinking maybe um, offensive instead? Like, I just don't know though. What is better? Like, these, that 15% extra morale, that looks so strong. I should have googled what is actually the best before I did this. And we do actually gain some extra force limit from having offensive as well. So... 5% discipline and more recovery speed. Siege ability, that is good. That is really good. More fire, recruitment time. 15% morale though? Like, have I misunderstood the value of morale? That is, that looks so powerful. More maneuver, army tradition, maintenance, that's something. Fort maintenance, that's something as well. That's some a lot of money saved. Reinforcement speed, I like that. Land attrition. This looks very strong. I might just take this instead. I mean, I'm sure we're gonna get around to grabbing um, offensive at some point. What about quality? What does that give you? Combat ability, early armor attrition, ship durability, and mortal of navies. Ah, that doesn't really look amazing. Like, is discipline a lot better than morale? Because. I feel I need to check this. 
Or maybe I should just YOLO it and just choose something. Uh, no, I'm gonna go check it. And I am back from the glorious land of Reddit, and I have done my research. A bit of it anyways, so I don't actually understand that much, but I felt like I am, I feel like I'm understanding a bit now. So, the way it was explained is that discipline is the amount of damage you do, and the amount, or, you know, it's like your armies are just better at killing shit and not getting killed. But morale is the amount of time they will last in the battle itself. Because, um, you know, whenever morale is broken, your enemy, your, you, you know, you have to run away. Uh, so what they said on Reddit was that early game you want to take defensive to get the morale because um, you just don't have a lot of morale. They were talking about how you gain morale as you progress. Yeah, land morale, here we go. So the, the later you get into the game, the more morale you just have in general. Uh, tactics, yeah, I'm not even going to pretend, but the, I cannot see any discipline here. So while morale sort of just improves on its own, and as a result, it becomes less uh, useful to improve it uh, through technology. Uh, so later in the game, you want to take discipline. And we're pretty late, at least by the looks of this thing. Um, I mean... Yeah, a lot of the morale improvements have already happened. The majority of them, actually. So, the way, I've under the way I understood it is that as a result of this, we want to go for offensive to get that extra discipline. Plus, we gain a bunch of other useful stuff when it comes to being, well, offensive. Um, seed ability and whatnot. And oh yeah, also, quantity. Uh, the way they... the advice they gave, at least, was that if your nation is pretty small, then quantity is worth gold, because you can just spam and go crazy. But if your nation is starting to blob a bit, like I would argue mine is, uh, quantity becomes less valuable. Because you're already going to be doing quite okay with your manpower. So what I'm thinking is we're going to do offensive first. Although by the advice I just listened to, if we're ever going to bother taking quantity, we should kind of take that first, shouldn't we? Oh god, more decisions. Uh, but no, I think we're going to go for offensive. Although having that lessened... Uh, having that lessened... Um, Regiment, uh, what do you call it? Land maintenance, that would save me a bit of cash. And in order to keep the manpower good at this point, I guess I am kind of having to... I have to spend a lot on mercenaries. I have done that so far, at least. And that has really been a drain on the economy. So maybe I do want to take quantity first and then offensive. Of course, who knows how many ideas I will eventually ever take, so... Um, quantity, something diplomat or something admin, something diplo, offensive... Who cares? Might not even happen. I rarely get to the later ideas. Uh, yeah, that might be the way to do things. So my armies are gonna suck, but I'm gonna have a lot of them. And I am keeping up in military tech, so I'm not going to suck at that, at least. I feel I have made a decision. Let's go quantity. To save money and what have you. And yeah, I'll go, I'll go quantity and next military idea will be offensive. We have a plan. Quantity ideas. But uh, please, uh, you know, enlighten me in the comments and tell me if I just fucked up because... Uh, I am all kinds of open to seeing and learning, you know, because I am I don't I have absolutely no idea pretty much how discipline and morale and any of that. Like I'm just like, oh, I have a bunch of units and I just throw them into combat and I'm, I hope for the best. That's pretty much the only strategy I rely on because it sort of works, you know. I've never really seen the extreme value of just complete focus. Anyways, uh, let us. Do something. Oh, yeah, let's kill the rebels. And I need to start my timer, which has been running all this time. So let's end that again and restart it. Okay, so uh, that took its time. But hey, that's the magic of editing, right? You did not have to see that. I think I spent like 15 minutes trying to figure out what to do there. All right, so we'll kill off these guys. And we need to go to war soon because I... I do not have a lot of... Um, 
prestige left, to put it that way. And I think what I will do is I'm just I want to form Greece at this point. We have the tech, right? Yes, we have level 10, so we are good to go on that point. So, oh, fuck off. Okay, that's annoying, but whatever. Whatever, are we funding the troops? Yes, and we're losing money. That's fine. It happens. Okay, uh, hopefully we can convince... Um, what? Why is everyone deserting now? Okay, I guess we still have rebel issues. Still, that's annoying. Stop deserting! So, yep, and... Uh, ha! Ottoman Separatists, that's fine, they can sit there if they want to. I would kind of like to kill them so I can be sure I don't have to deal with them later, but... Meh. Eh. Yeah, and they're, they're, they're probably gonna walk out of this place now, though. So, walk, walk. I don't want to lower my maintenance until I know I got them under control. But yeah, let's get ready to invade the Ottomans. Do we have a castle belly? Yes, I do. I have I have holy war. I have holy war against everyone, pretty much. So, why do I even ask? Oh, no. There they go. Uh, commander, no! I told that was not a good one. I I just disbanded a bunch of them. Uh, here we go. Reinforcement speed. Fort defense. Sure, I like the sound of that, at least. Uh, Here's an issue though, can we even give all this land down here to the Ottomans? Because they have to be able to core it, they, they should have the coring range to cross that little ocean there. So, dumb question. If they cannot, then I would be really surprised. Alright, let's get in here and see if we can kill them. There we are, very good. Okay, so any more rebels? Yep, Eretnid separatists are coming along soon. So I guess we want to keep some armies around here. Uh, we can send this guy over here though to help us deal with the Ottomans. Yeah, I don't know, is there... I don't think there's anything specific we would want to wait for. I guess maybe the stability of not being so darn overextended would be nice. Oh, hey! Look at this, the rebels are actually giving provinces to my vassal. That's interesting. I haven't really seen that happen before. Well, I've seen it happen, but I thought they patched that out. But I guess maybe because they revolted before Iraq became my vassal have made them change their mind or something? I don't know how that works. Are there any theologians, by the way? Uh, what are you? Inquisitor? Well, he would still be useful, so... Wait, this is... Yeah, that's a theologian. Never mind, I want you first. I want to do the decision. Uh, well, I should have read it, but oh well. Too late. Uh, and then... I want to go switcheroo you with this guy, once I have the opportunity to. Here we are, and now the conversions shall begin. We have three missionaries and they should, yeah, they, yeah, now we have super conversion, except for in these places, but that's because of some annoying modifiers, so that's fine. Hey, Iraq just built their first unit, how cute. What kind of tech do they have? I guess they inherited my tech when I released them. Did they gain my... Uh... No, they're Muslim, so... Well, I guess I gave them a bit of an advantage. Doesn't matter though, they're just gonna get annexed at some point anyways. So it is irrelevant. Right, mm, defund the army. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait a bit now until I can see that some of these cores coming in. I'm gonna wait for all the cores except for this one. And I want to kill off these rebels, and then I'm going to start the process of becoming Greece. So maybe we can do it in this episode. What is going on in Europe? Lithuania is getting destroyed, so the partitions of Poland and Lithuania are beginning, even though Poland and Lithuania are not united. So that's fun. And we're going to see our lovely little vassal down here just grow without us having to do jack shit. So that's... I mean, I, I couldn't have executed this better, could I? I mean, I split Karaki and Lua from this part of their nation. Uh, and, you know, this nation right here will also not give access to them, so they're basically just sort of fucked. And this was totally, like, I did not plan this. It was like, er, derp, derp, derp. And it sort of just worked out. So, fuck it, that's awesome. Why is the religious seal here? Did they recently convert? I guess the, I guess Karaki did that. 
Oh well. Not that big of a deal, and man, we are not making a lot of money, are we? Are there any forts we can tear down? Yeah, this one is probably not needed. So we with you. Let's get rid of this one as well. Uh, I want to keep some forts around though, but this should be... Uh, where do I get to see exactly? That's a mothballed fort. But where do I get to see what provinces these places control? I'm not sure about that. Oh well. Let the game continue. Right, got another core. Our missionaries are finishing like crazy. So we're gonna continue converting. Everyone shall be Jewish. And it shall be beautiful. Now, maybe I shouldn't, yeah, I sh probably shouldn't be rushed. Where's that? Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's not convert that actually because I intend to give it away, like now. Well, as quickly as possible, really. So let's find something that is not um, in that general region to convert. So let's get ready to force feed. Conquer Serbia. I mean, I love the Ottomans with their cute little missions. So hilarious. By the way, how close are we to becoming an empire? Uh, we're pretty close. We need we need another 200 developments. I mean, I am maybe if we annex our vassals, we can get to that point and remove the Ottomans. Yeah, that's right. Actually, removing the Ottomans will complete another goal in this let's play: remove kebab. So yeah, we're really getting close to achieving the goals of this let's play. And at that point, it's just time to go crazy and get weird. Uh, let's get these armies together, because I do intend to squish this army day one, pretty much. Yeah, we might as well do. We might as well occupy the Ottomans at the same time as we are um, dealing with these rebels, because we do have to fund our military. I'm going to wait a bit, though. I just want to lean back a bit and actually gather up some cash and let's not have our king be on the front line. We don't need to, we have other people. So, this works. Really? Whoa, why are you all of a sudden wanting liberty? What is this all about? Events and province. That, okay, so for some reason the fact that you're gaining all this shit down here is making you want to become independent? Oh, well, I'm okay. I mean, you can do whatever. As long as that, as long as those things go away at some point. Because I don't want you to be like. Like I want you to at some point actually be able to, you know, I want to be at some. I want to at some point be able to integrate you. But we can easily kick his butt if he tries anything funny. So he can be the he can be as revolt well unless he gains support from everyone that would be a bit scary. Hopefully he does not. Persia is outraged towards me now, so he might want to. Um... Muscovy no longer consider your arrival. Okay, right. So we have gained our course. So I'm pretty much ready to do the plan. Uh, yeah, these guys are at ninety percent, so I guess it's time. So yeah, we're gonna go further into debt, but eh, I don't really care at this point. It's fine, don't worry about it. I've gone into debt before and I'm gonna go into debt again. It happens! Oh yeah, we should stop talking to Tunis, as they kind of already love us. No, no reason to talk to them anymore. Alright, let's show the superiority of the Jewish faith by forcing them to take all our Egyptian land. Fucking brilliant. Uh, yeah, we have power points to move our capital when it becomes needed, so that is nice. Uh, let's see if this works. And yeah, I didn't actually... <laughs> didn't actually fun... Yeah, this... Okay, please... Oh, okay, well, we should still win. That's, yeah, well, we squished them, so that worked. So now the only reason to keep my funding up is to get ready for these retinids. It'll be some time actually for them to revolt, so let's lower it a bit at least, make some money. 
And what happened? Someone decided to do what now? Hassan Persia? Okay, well, that's fine. So yeah, it seems like Persia is going to be one of our major rivals. And Persia, uh, this is actually going to be a huge pain if we want to conquer Persia because he... The vast majority of this land is... And there's no feeding opportunities here. There'll be some in the east here. But sadly, he hasn't conquered Baluchistan, so... I guess Khorasan would be the one. Maybe the Timurids? I don't know. Yeah, well, there are some vassal opportunities, but the vast majority of this land will just have to be um, either force-fed to someone or just conquer the old-fashioned way. Uh, but, you know, uh, invading Persia and whatnot, that is things for the future. But won't that be glorious, though? Jewish Persia. Love the idea of that. That's uh, so dumb that it shall truly be hilarious. Black news indeed. Hey, now we actually got a decent king. And the air is not half bad either. Things are going my way. Yeah, events and prov province defections. So hopefully, that, I mean, I really hope that's going to go away. If not, I'm going to have a, an immortal vassal here. That is no good. Yeah, rebel uprising. That will happen. Oh, we already took everything. Well, that was easy. All right, now let's see if what I want to do actually works. Yes, I can just give them land and they can't do shit about it. Now, the borders between Asia and Africa are regions. So that's Africa, that's Africa, that's Asia, that's Asia, that's... that's Okay, so Gaza is Africa, that's Asia, and that's Asia. So the, the limit between Africa and Asia goes right here. And like all these islands, they are Europe, Europe... So all African land we own are basically Egypt and this little province. So those will be the ones we feed to Mr. Ottomans. And we could actually give him our vassals land, but I don't know why I would do that. I hope at least vassals, like I don't know if vassals count towards you owning land in Africa. I guess we'll just have to abandon Tunis as a vassal if that is the case, which will be annoying, but... I've never seen anything about that. Oh, really? You are not actually... Oh, okay. Well, this... Uh, okay. So this didn't work exact... This didn't work out exactly how I wanted it to. You cannot actually feed them over the limit. So we'll have to be a bit smarter about it, I guess. Yeah, so some land will have to be sold. I guess we'll try and sell some shit to Tunis. Of course, then it will be a bit awkward... If it shows itself that I will not actually... Huh. Okay, we need to rethink this. We need to find someone else to give land to. As it seems, uh, it is not enough with this guy only. I guess maybe we'll have to go back to Maraha or Ma yeah, Marahan then. Sadly, Fund is no longer an option. Plumpkin? Yeah, he has no friends. But sadly, we'll have to 100% occupy him. Uh, oh, Moldovia, they don't have any friends. And I can assume they can core Egyptian land. And we, bo we do border them, so we can hold a war there. But, and, uh, well, I kind of want to actually give land to my vassal, though. And, whoa, what? Oh, are you the defender of the fate or something? Probably is defender of the Catholic fate, because he didn't have any allies, so... Right, so we need to find some non-Catholic people then to attack, and I don't think we have Casa Spelli against Slimkin. Nope. So he will not work. Um, Lodia then. I just fear that giving him all this land will not overextend him as much as I would want. And getting 100% against this guy, that's gonna take some time. But if it has to be... It has to be. Quilia. Oh, we don't have Casaspelli, but we do have Casaspelli against Serbia, but he is... Uh, oh, shite! Serbia is allied to Muscovy? Uh, that's gonna make fighting him a pain. But uh, I'll deal with these issues later. Now I need to find people to feed land. We could just sell some land to Tunis, but I'm really afraid that... 
Uh, having a vassal in Africa is going to count as having African land. I mean, shit, I've already edited this episode once, so I'm actually going to go check if uh, having a vassal in Africa is a problem. So I'll see you in a second. Alright, I've checked it, and no vassals should not count towards you owning land in a specific continent. So you can safely keep Tunis around, which is nice. Uh, but I think we will go ahead and invade Elodia here, and I will give them land. Uh, so I'll give land to Elodia, and I'll give land to the Ottomans, and hopefully what will happen is that... Uh, I forgot to count while I was not recording, which is a bit of a mistake. Um, but the idea is I won't... We, we're gonna try and try, uh, like... Hopefully, as a result of uh, the fact that the rebels will occupy more than half of the Ottoman provinces, they should just collapse, and pretty much the whatever land I gave to the Ottomans should just flip back to me immediately. But since Alodia is much bigger, it should take a longer time, which means that in the meantime, I can culture flip to um, Greek. Although I guess that doesn't matter then. Because once I culture flip to Greek, whatever provinces revolt from Elodia will not actually go to me. They will just go to uh, Egypt, I think. Or Mamluks, or I don't know who's gonna revolt. Uh, so, all of that is just silly. So let's instead... Yeah, let's invade Elodia. And uh, let's uh, just get in a position where I can feed everyone land and I'll just think, I guess and see where that brings me. So everyone, let's go down to Elodia and let's fuck them up. Because strategy. Yeah, yeah, strategy. Let's get our boats up here, make them useful too. I need to rebuild that navy after it sort of died, so... It's probably something I... Oh yeah, that's right, we are. We have debt and shit, so... Yeah, you're my... Wait, are you not my rival? No, okay, alliance then, please. No? Hmm... Well, maybe it's maybe one time maybe at some point he will accept so I'll, I'll, I'll keep improving relations with you pull back the dude from Bulgaria though because I need him to work on um, well I need him to help me invade uh, Alodia because for some reason you need to tell the people you are invading that you're invading them in order to properly be invading them Truces with Iraq has ended. Uh, they're not at 100% yet, but they should, they're probably going to be at that once we... Um, uh, once all the provinces have flipped to them. So yeah, Crete we can convert. I really do not mind seeing the end of all annoying rebels over there. And yeah, we should probably keep some army up here. Because there is... Uh, no shit, we cannot have this much... This many troops in one army, so whatever. Uh, you go there, I guess, and you can go there as well. Yeah, because there are going to be rebels here soon. Epirus just converted, so... I don't know where these places are. Let's find something orthodox. Yeah, we know that. We know the orthodox stuff is in Europe, so... Um, that's fine. Right, Elodia, you have no friends, and you're about to gain an enemy. And we should probably begin funding our dudes again. Hopefully we can squish his army and... Uh, as a result be capable of just carpeting him, but... This is most likely gonna be not a very harsh war, but it's... It's gonna hurt us, definitely. But we have quantity now, so the manpower will definitely... Oh, horse population boom, cool. Uh, yeah, these guys on he yeah, doesn't have many forts, does he? Which is good for me. Oh, hello. You're going to this place? Which I can sadly not go to. But you're kind of caught behind my lines at this point, so I'll go kill you. And yeah, once this guy's done, we'll go down and start sieging the fort. And we'll all just have a good time. Oh, I can't walk here? Well, that's annoying. Well, let's go here then. Well, let's split. Hoff, Hoff can go there, and the, the rest will go here. Then we'll have to wait for the fort to fall, and I'll keep an eye on um, the call for peace thing, because at that point I'm just going to give away my land to the Ottomans and hope that they don't collapse before I'm done with Elodia. 
Because that would be a bit embarrassing. Because I cannot just ask them right now to... I can't just give them a bunch of land now. Nah, they wouldn't do that. Nah. Elodia does not want my land. Why? I, uh, I have a feeling they are not smart enough to suspect what I intend to do here. Here's the thing, can I ask for access through you and as a result siege more shit? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. Let's go do that then. Brilliant plan. Extra navy tradition uh, is not of much value, but thank you, I guess. Hey, you can get more ideas. Uh, anything good? Manpower recovery speed. Well, there's nothing specific I need my military points for, so sure. And this I would like, because that would actually save me some points in this war. And we are rocking holy war, so we shouldn't have to shouldn't have to need any diplo points. So yep, there we go. Now I can actually handle having this access. And I can handle allying uh, Muscovy if they will have me. Oh, uh, yeah, if my vassals want to do that for me, that's fine. That's completely okay. Oh yeah, we can just swoop in and take all their shit at this point. Uh, could we just walk all the way down here? Yes, we can actually. Okay, cool. That'll speed up things. So we'll go there. And these guys should be properly... Wait, are the rebels? I felt I saw some rebels. No! no! What are you doing? Iraqi rebels were controlling this. How dare you? How fucking dare you? Oh no, it's okay. It's Persia, it's, Persia is invading them again. Yeah, there's not going to be a lot of Karakun Lu when you're done, is it? Who are your allies? You look kind of strong. Oh, well, you got Yarkan and Delhi, but they're far away. But they're probably still pretty strong. Oh, rebels up here. Okay, so that's, that's why I got a message. Well, you'll go there, but... I guess we can get an army together. That can march up there when it's time. Okay, I didn't bring a leader down here, but that's okay. We did squish them. So that is fine. Let's get up here and kill these rebels, because I can't have them preventing me from getting my war score. And I really wish uh, my vassal would go occupy some shit. Hey, reduce our extension, and now I gain an extra reputation. And we could annex some serious vassals at this point. Sadly, I have no vassals to annex. Because either they're not done they're not done getting fed, or they are on a continent where I cannot really get more land right now. So Yep. Uh yeah, people are dying, blah blah blah. Sieges are happening, and damn it. Oh yeah, that's right. This one. Yeah, we'll go deal with that. They even get a general. Alright, we'll swoop down here and do some sieges. So hilarious how you have to f you have to fight to give land to your enemy. That is good. Where are you going? There, I think. Didn't pay completely attention there, but I think that was it. Okay. Um, okay, so I Iraq didn't. Uh, reach a completely 100%, but he got quite angry. Okay, so a loan is coming due, but uh, we do we do really do not have the money to pay for that right now. I am sorry to say. Damn it! Stop running away. Okay, we'll split up and we'll go deal with you, and the rest will swoop down here and do some sieging. And this will also give us an excuse to uh, to discover a bit more of Africa. I see. That is always good fun. Might as well just completely split up and just find everything. I don't think they have any army left. Nope, not really. So no threat there. Split up, split up, split up. And siege faster! Kill you before he takes my province. And split up, and you can walk here. Everyone is dying, and we should get 100% soon. Wait, really? <laughs> There's one province that's blocked by a fort? Alright, game. If you say so. 
Fuck off. Uh, another province got converted. I wanna, I wanna convert more. Dude, there's why? Why do I not get that message when there's plenty of provinces to convert? Oh, there is a message. I just looked the wrong place. Okay, let's do it on the map so I make sure I do not convert anything in Egypt. No point in spending time on that if I'm just gonna be giving it away anyways. I cannot convert that. That's fine, I guess. And these should be convertible. Oh no, that's not mine, so never mind. That's not gonna happen. This one, though. That I can convert. Good. Convert, converge. Have fun. Alright, oh, there's a province hiding out there. I'll go get that. And I saw an army, I think. I don't know where it went, though. Oh, oh, there it is. Kill it. With fire. Before it does annoying things. Yeah, good thing I took quality. This is harsh on the manpower, man. Not good. Like, if Hungary or someone like that decided to invade me with other allies at this point? Do I really have to besiege everything, or will you accept me, my provinces? Nope, I have to have 100% for you, me to be able to force feed him land, sadly. So, force feed it is. Uh, we can start retreating some of our derps, derps, though. So, let us do that. We'll send these guys in here, kill that army, and then we'll send you up north again, as that army down in the last fort should finish soon. No call for peace yet, but we are running out of money though, so we are going to go further into debt, that's no fun. And now I'm really starting to wonder, can I form Greece before the year 1600? Like when I said that, I was really confident about it, but now it's starting to look a bit sketchy. This whole, this fancy bullshit right here takes time. It's not a super easy process. But if I have done my testing correctly, it should work and we are, we should be very close to a glorious world where Jewish, Greece, live and kebab is completely removed. That is the goal. So please. Die already. Any good missions? Conquer Sophia. Hmm, maybe at some point, but not right now. Yep, there we go. Further into debt. Oh joy. And now we're paying a bunch of interest again. But now we have 100% on both things, meaning we can figure out who's gonna get what land. Now, I want the best land to go to the Ottomans, because I assume they are the ones most likely that... Uh, that I'll, I'll just be able to get the land back immediately, and I'll give the shitty land to Alodia because that's the land I might have to conquer manually. So that sounds log logical to me. So I'll give as much good land as possible to uh, this guy. Yeah, no point in looking in the list. I'm just gonna go out to memory. Let's actually take a look here. What's like the value of things? Where's that map mode? Trade goods, nope. Uh, supply limit. Blings. Economical. So, base tax 2, really 2? Is it that bad? Guess it is. Well, we'll keep the capital. So, yeah, it looks like this sort of land up here in the north, that's the good stuff. As well as Benghazi for some reason. So yeah, it's just this blob up here and then down the river. That's the land we want to give to the Ottomans. Which was kind of my, kind of my idea anyways. And then as far down as uh, down the river as we can go. Oh wait, hold on. They'll oh, they'll accept a bit over the limit. Oh, might as well. When they do Benghazi. Nope. Huh, for some reason... Oh, what the hell? How? Why am I able to give them this? I mean, sure. What? What? Seems like if I do this in a specific order, then they're willing to take it. What the hell? Yeah, no, not not the capital though. Yeah, I can do this. 
I'm uh, feeling kind of exploity now, but I mean this this whole experience, this whole campaign is just a silly parties. So I'm not really feeling bad about exploiting a bit. Okay, so this happens, but I don't actually think I want to do this because whenever the Mamlukian rebels then succeed, I'm just going to get all this land back, I can, and I cannot have all this land. Okay, uh, I'm going to, I mean, I've edited this episode already, so I might as well edit it, edit it a bit more, and I'll do some counting and I'll see exactly what promises I need to give, and I'll just figure this out. Okay, so I've done my math and I think I have it figured out. So we give this to the Ottomans, which is just going to mess them up horribly and be glorious. And then we'll give the rest of it to Alodia. Exactly what did I give to the Ottomans? Yeah, so we're going to give this to them. So Alodia will basically gain this yeah no not these ones oh shit I cannot give him that well okay that has to that changes the plans a bit then so he will have to have that so it's gonna be like that instead then I guess so he will have that so this is not optimal according to base tax but it's kind of okay it's not that big of a deal so never mind you're not getting that you're getting that instead which sort of works actually so yeah, Ottomans will have this, and hopefully this will just, you know, the vast majority of this will flip back to me. There are some provinces there that are not um, Egyptian, like Gaza and Halib, Halib, which will probably go to some other random nations, but we can easily conquer them and get our clay back, I hope at least. Um, that's the plan, so yeah, let's... Oh man, I'm getting scared here. Let's just click the button, and let's just hope that this works. Like, if I fuck this up, this could majorly impact the... Like, if this plan of mine actually doesn't go... Well, that's gonna be really embarrassing, but... I feel like I've done my testing, I feel like this should work. So, send offer... Go. So, yeah, all kinds of unrest there, so this should flip back soon. And, oh, diplomats, come on. Get back here, and then uh, you will have this, uh, like that, send offer. Oh shit, I just realized a flaw in my plan. It would have been much better if I gave the not Egyptian land to Alodia, because then it would just have flip, flipped them back to me. But hey, we can't all be geniuses. Never mind then, uh, that was, okay, so that was a mistake, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Just a couple of provinces. Not so horrible. So yeah, you can have this. You are welcome. Our cores remain on it all, so we do not lose that. Which is why I prefer to do this over doing it through vassal feeding. And now we should be able to move our capital, which we can do indeed. Now, what should be the capital of the Greek Empire? Uh, I think Athens becomes the capital regardless of really what we want, so... As long as we slap it in Europe. So Athens should be fine. Yes, it is Greek, so that is what we want. Move the capital to the new location. Yes, I want to do this. There we go. We have now moved our capital to Europe, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, now we have a bunch of troops stuck down here, but they should be able to run off quickly. Okay, so now the hope is that these Mamlukian separatists will do their job. So yeah, let's stop finding our armies. We do have rebels coming in, but they will do their thing. Uh, so now, yeah, except culture shift has been has popped up, uh, but Greek is not a dominant culture. It's not the dominant culture yet. This is because of a little thing called Turkish culture. I think I made the math, and we have to give two promises to Kandar or someone else in order to make that make more sense. So now I'm thinking, maybe I should have given that to the Ottomans as well. Fuck, that would have been much better actually, because then I wouldn't have to pay the points to integrate it all over again. Ah oh, well. We'll deal with that when it comes. For now, I just want to get back to Europe. Uh, yeah, we don't actually have a lot of this stuff, so... Let's lose some power. So yeah, we have cores on everything. Yeah, okay, so this was not perfectly executed. 
but at least we're going to be able to achieve what we want, even if it wasn't, you know, perfectly uh, effective or whatever. Orthodox Seelets, Thessalae. Huh, well, this place should be converted too, so let's see who, let's see who uh, does it faster. The rebels are my missionary. I don't know, is there someone we, we could probably do it to Karakunlu? He has these vassals though that's could just gonna complicate things. And I mm. Yep, although we have ally to pull, then I don't wanna get a hundred percent against that, so I guess we'll just have to pay some points. We'll just give some shitty promises to him. Sad thing is, of course, that uh, there aren't really many shitty Turkish provinces. Turkish provinces are worth a lot. So... Well, and yeah, we are probably far over our limit. Yes, we are, so let's get rid of those units. And... Yes, this was totally planned, so I guess if we're gonna get rid of someone, we are just gonna get rid of some idiots from my capital, well, my previous capital, who are now stuck a bit awkwardly. It happens, you know, don't worry about it. All right, let's get out here and let's watch the revolts begin. They should happen soon. Okay, so, wow, we're barely making any money. <sighs> yeah, that's awkward. Uh, we might have to kick some of these advisors then. And probably get rid of some more army. This hurts me, but oh well. It had to be done. Well, not necessarily, but I did it anyways. So yeah, go up here and let's get ready for rebels. Alright, let's... Okay, so how bad are these things now? Yeah, Kandar is also getting a bit annoyed here. So they might ally each other and try to go for independence, but... And wow, yeah, the, uh, the Ottomans have really done a lot of work here in order to try and avoid these rebels. They've really increased autonomy. I don't know if I could be a dick here and just support some of them. Albanian... Mamlukian, how much would that cost? Ooh, that's kind of expensive, so let's not. Hopefully those rebels can do that job on their own. Yep, there they are. Oh, hello, that was fast. Hey, rebels. Oh, wow, one province just seceded immediately. Huh, wow, okay. Fascinating. So these guys should give me my land back, so that I don't have to pay any points or do anything annoying about it. So yeah, once they get enough land, they should the, the Ottomans should collapse and all rebels that want to will get their will. But, oh shit, I have dudes down here. Yeah, they, look at this, my promises are just flipping back to me. And this is no longer overseas. Right? Shouldn't be. Ah, oh, damn it, I inherit their autonomy? Ah. Oh. Okay, so I guess I don't have to pay any points to get my land back, but the autonomy I gain from this is quite harsh. Yep, there we go. Land is pouring back in. What? <laughs> Sell a province. No, fuck you. And <laughs> this land is gonna go back to me anyways. I don't care. Uh, you are cute, Mr. Ottomans. Okay, orthodoxy. Let's come on, man. Quickly. Can't be dealing with these rebels now, can we? Of course, we gotta keep an eye on the number of provinces. And oh, wow, this is now Ottoman land. Interesting. So I guess we'll, we better start selling shit to Kandar so we can culture flip. We have the points we need to, uh, you know, heal the stability hits. So I have my land. This pains me, but it must be done. Uh, okay, so I do not, th I cannot think of any way I could do this without taking this hit. It's not going to be too harsh though. It's fine. Then we'll give him one more. Oh, something's bugged. Oh, there we go. Why do you hate me? Well, I guess I just haven't improved relations for a while. Yeah, Kandor is going to be one of the first people to get integrated. I'm tired of his shit. So, province. Come on. Come on now. Oh, really? You're going to go over here as well, aren't you? Hmm. Yeah, that complicates things. And shouldn't the Ottomans have collapsed by now? I guess not, but yeah, they do have some provinces around. Yes, this might complicate things a bit. As I really want these promises to flip, but it should work out, I think. Because these promises should flip before these ones, so I'm not too frightened. 
Bozok, well, let's see if we can give you something crap. So that's 8 color total, 15, 12... Yeah, Bozok seems like a... It's one of the one of the not so good ones, so it's gonna be somewhat cheap to reintegrate. Are you guys still angry at me? So I don't know what happened exactly here. I'm I'm guessing maybe the AI just abandoned the provinces in order to not have to deal with the overextension. I'm not completely sure why they just flipped though. Maybe there was an event or something. I don't know exactly how it works. All right, so now we're just gonna have to sit around and wait for this land to flip back to me. And, I don't know, we're gonna have to try and find something to do in the meantime. So that should have gotten rid of the Orthodox Zealots, right? No, oh, Thessalit, what? What? Didn't we convert you? Why are there Orthodox Zealots in a... Oh, fuck, really? Spain has supported my subject? Fuck off, okay, we're gonna placate them. Wait, hold on, they are rebellious? Fuck off. And I cannot placate them because I ain't got shit. Oh, they're boiled at 100%? Dude, it was just a couple of provinces. Oh, yeah, yeah, this might be nasty. Okay, well, get ready for rebellion. Get ready for rebellion. That is actually really scary. Oh, fuck me. Huh. Yeah, Spain hates me. Hmm. Why are you so angry all of a sudden? Better diplomatic technology and you have more than 100 development. Ooh, yeah, that's not good, is it? All vassals relative power. Well, at least Tunis and Bulgaria is loyal. Let's slowly begin paying down some loans. Let's just hope that they don't attack me right now. That might just happen any day. You'd worry with anyone or what are you up to? Because if they, if they declare right now, I might just have to give in. So let the waiting games begin, I guess. And once again, I have done a mistake. But those happen. This Judaism is spreading nicely. Right, now it's time for alliances, in other words. Uh, yeah, hello, Muscovy. Hello there. Oh. Bill, <laughs> fuck me, did I do that in time? Ah, oh, no, I don't think I did it in time. They're gonna reject now. Okay, hello, Spain. Uh, this complicates things. Oh, man, that's not good at all. Yep, that was my fault. I should not have sold those provinces. Okay, we need to deal with these separately. No, walk into the provinces, I say. Well, maybe wait for morale, actually. Leaders, get all the armies together. Uh, ah, nice, Muscovy joined. Okay, good. Now, uh, whether or not he will actually get here, that's another question entirely. He really wouldn't surprise me if he didn't. Uh, like, where are you going? Are you actually intending to help me? Could still win this. Iraq and Kandal will remain subjects, so... It really depends on Spain. This is a... Yeah, if we can get Baghdad, that's gonna help the war effort immensely, because we can get ticking war scores. I guess then the deal will be to just try and fend off whatever shit the Spanish land on our shores. We are not quite ready for new tech, which means we're probably lagging. Oh yes, no, actually we aren't. So we're doing okay on tech. We have taken some ideas, but those are primarily for manpower. That's another issue. Our army... I just deleted a bunch of units. This was a horrible time to do that. As war is upon us. Yep, let the death begin, I guess. Oh, Persia is my rival now. That's not helping things. There's combat somewhere? Oh shit, there's combat. Well, that's not good. I don't know if we can get in here in time, though. Let's see. We should be taking quite the beating. Mm, no, we should win this. Okay, good. Now he's gonna run down there. Well, that's okay, actually, because I intend to follow. Oh, yeah, fund the forts, I guess. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on wherever the um, Spanish land. 
Okay, France, this would be a great time for you to invade or something. Would not ally me. Yeah, France would have been a much better, much better ally, but I have not improved my relations with him or anything, so... Would surprise me if that worked. Okay, you're going back again for some reason. That's fine. I'll follow. Can win this. I think we can. That depends entirely on the Spanish. We can defeat our disloyal vassals, but... It all depends on how many troops the Spanish dedicate to this cause. Because we do not actually have to land troops on Spanish soil. Of course, ah, what they... I'm, I bet they're gonna um, fuck up Tunis. That's definitely happening. Yeah, this is the first time I have to deal with a legitimate uh, vassal revolt. I think. So yeah, you're gonna retreat into Iraq, so we're gonna start surrounding Iraq. So we intend to not let these vassals go, if we can avoid it. Uh, we might want to wait a bit for our morale, I think. Reclaim Sukain. Suakin. I'm gonna assume that's one of my derpy cores, and we will do that at some point, so yes, sure. Everything, brah. By the way, do we have to be at peace in order to switch culture? Yes, we do. That is frustrating because I'm. <laughs> it might end up being so that these people flip to me because I. Well, okay, but that's the least of our concerns now. Okay, so nice. There are for some reason Sunni zealots in uh, Kandar. What religion are you? Sunni. Well, I will never understand you. But sure, that's good for us. That's just gonna mess his nation up. And be better for me. Okay, any forts here? No, but no, this one. We'll start funding that. We'll fund this as well. Yeah, we're gonna go all kinds of into debt. Okay, Muscovy, uh, they're going down here, but whether or not they will actually be able to do anything, that's a different story. Georgia might give them access, and I assume Caucasia will. So they might come down here. What I really need them to do is help me against the Spanish. Help them, help me against this kind of stuff, but yeah, we need to rush Baghdad. That's how we're gonna get that taken war score, and that's how we're gonna win this. That is how victory is achieved. Uh, actually, let's go there and... And there, I guess. So one will begin sieging, and the other will get ready for the death of this army. Okay, go down here. Actually, go there, and then these armies will go kill him. Still no Spaniards on my shores, that is good. I need to get my navy up once I get some cash. Oh wow, you got some serious morale going on there. Of course, I, I'm still rocking these Egyptian ideas, and they do give me extra discipline, so... We do have that. So we should be better than uh, better better than the Iraqis at discipline, I think. I'm not sure though. What do they got? Defensive. Yeah, that's why they got defensive. Uh, so that's basically why they have such awesome um, morale there. But we still ruin them. So God knows whether where exactly they will go now. But we'll start heading down to Baghdad. Uh, oh, nice. There we go. Yeah, Moscow will actually help me. That is very nice of them. I appreciate it. Okay, he's gonna go there. That's fine. Uh, do we have a general? Yes, good. So there'll be a battle here, but we should be able to win it quite easily. This army will split up, and uh, some will go... Oh, never mind then. Oh. Yeah, that's not useful for anyone, so everyone will go here then, I guess. Actually, you might just stay. Yeah, this is all blocked by hostile forts, so we cannot get down here yet. Okay, so far the Spanish are just fucking up that guy, that's good. Ha! <laughs> Even the Spanish colonial nations are over here now. So we are losing because of the ticking war score, but that should change soon. Muscovy's wrecking... Uh, well, he's not wrecking, he only brought 8,000 units. Are you always someone else? Nope, you're only fighting me. I don't see why, like, what else he would be up to. 
But that was, fuck man, that was a lucky alliance. That was like the second, like, I don't know if that was triggered by the fact that I allied Muscovy or like, but that was crazy. That was absolutely intense. Of course, I don't think Muscovy will be the thing that wins this war for us, but he might be helping out. And, well, we can actually walk down there, so why not? Leave a dude there and go. And leave a dude there and go. Can have a little more speed. Oh, rebels. Rebels. No, oh, they're not mine. Doesn't matter. Lol, don't matter. Don't matter. It is irrelevant. Yeah, we can't go down there yet, but... That's fine. Okay, so yeah, we'll bring the vast majority of these guys up north and we'll go start, we'll begin occupying over here. Should be entertaining. Sadly though, this will mess up our relations with our vassals. Hopefully there, hopefully at least it's going to give me some modifier that will... Um, make them more loyal, at least for some time. It's back, you know. We just need some time so that I can re-stabilize things. So I guess the lesson is, do not make vassals that are bigger than 100 base tanks. They hurt. So, yeah, stupid Kandar. Muscovy, why are you not helping? Well, I guess you're sieging, but... You could also be considering killing the enemies. Uh, there has been an eruption in the Andes. That's kind of far away, so I don't really care that much. Yeah, let's see if we can kill this guy. Yep, going to go further into debt. How's the debt looking today? Horrible? Ah. Why well, see, I'm used to this, so it is of no concern. It is of no concern at all. I'm just gonna sit there, really. Uh, I don't know. King, help me. We need to seed shit, brah. But no, I'm starting to feel more confident here. This could still work. So far, Spain hasn't done what I really feared. Like, they haven't landed any Doomstack in my primary territory, and as long as we can avoid that then we can win. So yeah, they're gonna go kill that guy off, okay. Extra prestige, I do not mind that at all, because I'm sure I have a lot of bad modifiers because of my shit prestige. Okay, so we have retaken this. Uh, let's... I don't know, I, I wanna try... Oh, yeah, no, never mind, the, the Muscovite should go ahead and kill this guy. Unless they're stupid. Oh, they're stupid, okay, never mind then. We're going to have to go kill them. But this we can do. Alright, Baghdad should fall soon. And why exactly are there rebels in my land? I mean, I don't mind. Honestly, this is just... Uh, I mean, if they want to go fight the Spanish for me, yeah, that would be great. Great fun. Here's another problem. I cannot actually walk to Tunis now. And hey, it's 1600. So sadly, I did not achieve my goal of uh, forming Greece before 1600, but... Uh, oh shit, how long has this episode been? Uh, yeah, very, very long. <laughs> Let's end it here. Thanks so much for watching this episode of very, very, very soon to be Jewish Greece. Uh, and until next time, bye.